based sa sinabi ko kanina o nag it's clear na ito ay nag sa argument ni Peter sa kanyang sermon sa mga Jews. For context, para madali natin maintindihan ang sagot sa question na ito, let me read ang Acts 17, 22-31. Ang sabi rito ay, quote, Paul then stood up in the meet- meeting of the Areopagus and said, People of Athens, I see that in every way you are very religious. For as I walked around and looked carefully at your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, To an unknown God. So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship. This is what I'm going to proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as some of your own poets have said. We are his offspring. Therefore, since we are God's offspring, we should not think that a divine being is like gold or silver or stone an image made by human design and skill. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent, for he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. End quote. In light of this passage, ang answer ko sa question is that ang way ni Paul to convince Gentiles na totoo ang gospel is two things that Gentiles can relate to. Ang unang ginamit ni Paul ay ang verse 23 which talks about ang altar na may inscription na to an unknown God. It seems na Paul referred to them as religious people to affirm ang pagsik nila kay God without being offensive, though sila ay clearly idolatrous. Ang altar daw na may inscription na to an unknown god ay possibly isang reference sa altar of the 12 gods Athens. Nang purpose is to make sure na walang god na left out sa worship. Paul used this as a springboard to introduce them to the one true god. And Paul introduced God as someone greater than what they could conceive that this god is not in need of human hands and that hindi siya naglive inside temples dahil siya ang gumawa ng everything that exists. Siyang nag-give ng life and nag-sustain sa atin. And he decided where we should live for us to seek him and find him. Paul also quoted yung own poets ng Athenians, such as si Epimenides, Cleanthes, and si Aratus, to make a point about who God really is. When Paul was able to establish this, then he talked about the gospel of Christ when he talks about God requiring all men to repent. And that ang proof ng judgment ni God sa future, ang resurrection ni Jesus. In short, ang similarity nito sa argument ni Peter is ang pag sa resurrection and sa gospel. Ang difference is that sa Gentiles ay Paul referred sa sariling philosophy ng Athenians to make a point about God and si Peter ay nag-cite directly sa scriptures to convince the Jews.